I'm Virginia Signature and I'm 20. I'm Harmi Signature and I'm 19. We're brothers and we both want to become officers in the British Army. We've been inspired to serve our country. Growing up, it's one thing we've both worked towards achieving. So we've come to Sandhurst to see what becoming a British officer is all about and the experiences we can look forward to. The Royal Military Academy is at Sandhurst, 22 miles from Slough. It's a prestigious place where all potential British officers come to train. Here they learn how to become leaders. One such officer is Captain Sadaj Singh Gorgna, a Sikh servant with the Royal Electrical and Mechanical Engineers. He shared with us the reasons why he joined. Hi, good afternoon. How are you doing? Hi, Hi, nice to meet you guys. Well, welcome to Sandhurst. We realise this is actually a potential career path for us. Yeah, um, it, we got into it. it's literally we just love doing it, you know, and, yes. we, and we realise we're good at it. And if you're good at something and you love doing it, then, then why not make it a career? I've been serving for, uh, for 12 years. Uh, I was inspired initially by Operation Granby, otherwise known as Desert Storm, um, where I saw on the news you know, soldiers in their tanks, combat helicopters, uh, going across, uh, across to liberate Kuwait, uh, and I, I was fascinated. The commissioning course at Sandhurst is 48 weeks long and covers military, practical and academic subjects. Captain Gorgonai's experiences helped us to understand why this place is so important for developing officers and how we can benefit. We also discovered interesting facts about this place during our visit. Not many people know that Sandus is full of history and especially relevant to Sikhs. Discovering this history has inspired us and many others from our community to think seriously about a military career. It builds on the legacy of Sikh selfless service and bravery and it connects us to our forefathers, but it also helps guide people through when times are tough. When you do come to Sandus, the Sikh history has become increasingly important to me uh, since I joined the army. However, when I was at Sandhurst, Sandus is a blur. You spend your time running from one place to another and you're so busy. However, you get those moments of clarity and walking down the corridors of Old College, looking at those photographs of those proud subadars stood upright with their glorious turbans, inspires you, even if it, at that moment you don't realise it. When you're out in the field and you're looking again for that, that moment of inspiration, and you're struggling, you think to yourself, if my predecessors could do this, if those fellow Sikh officers and subadars could, could do this, then why can't I? We ventured inside Old College and discovered the hidden history of Sikhs at Sandhurst which we never knew existed. The Sikh chaplain to Her Majesty's Armed Forces guided us into a hall and showed us a stained glass window. It's a tribute to Sikhs who fought in Afghanistan during and after the First World War. Seeing such a tribute to the sacrifice of Sikhs is inspirational. Not many people know about what Indians did during the World Wars fighting alongside the British. Seeing these images has allowed us to appreciate more our community's connection with the British Army, one which we want to contribute to and be a part of. Walking around Old College, we get to appreciate the stories of Sikh soldiers who fought for Britain. They all maintain their religious identity and ethics. Sikh faith principles have played a central role in the life of a Sikh soldier in the British Army since 18th century. A new Sikh recruit would be admitted to British Army only if he was baptized, followed a course code of conduct, and has taken an oath on Sri Guru Sabji to Sikh scriptures. This is important because this is a source of strength for a Sikh. It was, it is, and it always will be. We meet serving soldiers and find that they all join for different reasons, but they get to experience many exciting things. Some want to go on tour, others get a livelihood they would not have on City Street. I've always wanted to travel, but the fact that I could travel with the army and play sports and do something to do with IT um, sold it to me. What inspired me to join the army is to get better career, lifestyle, adventure, some excitement, travel around the world and meet different people every day. Being in the army, you know, you do so many jobs. It just gives you the more of a job satisfaction. I mean, you become sort of a multi-talented guy. You can do three or four times jobs at one time. Spotting a Sikh in the army is easy. The turban is important for Sikh identity and in the army it's a smart part of an officer's or soldier's uniform. Looking at the Sikh traditions and all that, I think that has really inspired me to join, looking at what you know our forefathers have done and, and people before us and just want to carry on the tradition. Yeah, no, I agree with that and um, it's nice going around Sanders and seeing how much history and how much support there actually is for Sikh regiment and, and how they recognise what did go on in history. We don't wear our turbans because we cut our hair. 
but we appreciate the steps the army has made to make sure religion and identity forms an important part of a diverse army. Captain Makan Singh has worked in this area for many years and was recently recognised with an MBE for his service. You know, we go about providing a service to the community and I, and I have done for the last decade or so uh, since um, you know, coming back to the UK having served overseas. Um, you know, trying to promote it to our youngsters, uh, you know, because it really is, a, is an excellent career. It's a huge honour and I'm very happy to receive the award of MBE uh, uh, today for the, the work that's been recognised by, by the Army. This war memorial in London is a recognition of the sacrifices that Indians as well as others have made to Great Britain during the World Wars. Discovering this history has inspired us to want to achieve great things in the Army ourselves. I think. Um, I was given the push to, to find out more about the army through through people I'd met. You know, I'd met officers, and um, and they kind of inspired me to to look more into into what they do, and and just having the general support there was given to me by the by the same people. So yeah, yeah, it's good to see. Uh, the cadets gave a small taste of what army life is, and and again, meeting other people, meeting officers, meeting soldiers, people who've been there, done that, and and you know doing the job now um, is something that I liked, something I enjoyed, something that I feel that I'd uh, do well in as well. So uh, I feel inspiration came from people that were already doing the job that we've spoken to.